What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the numbers for the Jubilee event. Uh, Zoss decided to go ahead and kind of release some numbers from the anniversary Jubilee event. And I think a lot of people were actually shocked at some of the numbers. I, I think uh, probably mainly the people that think the game has kind of died off, that a lot of people don't play anymore. It wasn't really a surprise to me at all, considering I play here on console and I see how many people are in every zone that I go in anytime that I log in. I know it's the same on PC. So it, it's... It, it was, I think, a shock for some, not for others. But today, I'd like to go over some of these numbers and talk about really how strong the ESO community is as a whole. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Also, check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. And if you really enjoy the content here, in, here on the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button as well. When it comes to the amount of players we saw in uh, the Jubilee event. So there was over 1 trillion XP earned, 587 million plus writs completed, 1.1 million Cyrodiil dailies done, 325 million plus dungeon XP earned, and 46 plus million daily quests completed. So that shows you during the Jubilee event, there were some people putting in some serious time to ESO. Now, I know a lot of players will come back and maybe just play some of these events. So would you see these kind of numbers every single day in ESO if you had events? Probably not. But at the same time, it shows you there is a very strong player base. There is a very strong core player base that plays daily, weekly, whatever the case may be. You know, if it's just all day, a couple hours a day, you know, a couple days a week, there's a strong player base, no matter really what platform you're on, that is playing ESO nonstop. And that is why, you know, Zoss is trying to do, I think, their best with... Uh, putting out a lot of content and listening to the community and trying to fix things that the community wants, uh, you know, kind of changed in the game. And I know that's not always going to be the easiest thing to do. I understand that, you know, as, as, as a player, we want things changed. We want them changed quickly, probably as a development team. Some of these things may take a while and some of these things may not can be done, but I think overall Zoss has done really well. And as you can tell by those numbers, a lot of people in the community probably feel the same. They may not agree with everything that Zoss does. They may not agree with everything uh, when it comes to gameplay, but at the same time, there's a lot of people still really enjoying ESO and still coming into the game yearly. Uh, the game's been out for a long time now. I mean, it's been out for several, several years. What, eight years here on, on PC? Uh, for me here on console, it's been out for, you know, seven years, and I've played it pretty much the whole time that was out on console and it seems like every year you start to see more and more new players into the game more new more and more new players into guilds uh, more and more new players asking questions on the forums or on twitter or on youtube whatever the case may be so it shows that the game still has a lot to give and that a lot of the players in the community are sticking around and we're still getting a lot of new players year in and year out and i know a lot of people feel like the game has died off or they will talk about it dying off and the only thing that's keeping the game alive is the new player base and I will say sometimes it seems like there's more new players than veteran players, but also I, I feel like there's a lot of veteran players that are getting back into playing. They may take a little bit of a break. I even do that myself. I mean, I play a lot of other games, as you guys know, if you watch anything else here on the YouTube channel, there's a lot of other things that I play as well. So I may not play ESO every single day, 365 days a year or something like that, but I'm always coming back and playing when there's new content. If I'm not playing consistently, if I take a you know a month or two break to play something else, when new content comes out, I'm back playing ESO. And I think that's how a lot of people in the community are. And this this Jubilee event this year shows how many people are still interested and how many people are still playing the Elder Scrolls online every day and every year. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.